Hi friends, it's Rabbi Briskin with a thought for Shabbat. So last night I gathered with parents and students of the Council Rock North graduating class. The school distributed individual honors and scholarships to deserving seniors. I was filled with pride at the large number of Shirami seniors who were recognized, including my son, as each in their own way made a difference in their community. Now the last award was given for students who were at the top of their class academically. Each of these students had received other recognition earlier. However, the words of the principal struck a bit of a negative chord with me, and I know he didn't mean to. As I heard it, at least, he characterized those awards for academic achievement as the best and highest honor of them all. Of course, academic achievement is important and should always be honored and is one of the few that can actually be measured. However, I've always believed that character and service ranks just as high, and these are the awards that I appreciated the most that were given last night. That's too bad that you can't qualify and quantify the menschlichkeit of our students. I know if we could, all of them would rank very high. Now, we were fortunate to have a child who was honored. I also wondered about those who weren't including a number of Shirami seniors who I know are deserving of honor. They also made valuable contributions, but perhaps in ways that weren't as noticeable to the teachers, staff, or administration. This week's tour portion called Nassau continues a thread that began last week. If you recall, I spoke about each individual raising their head to be counted and doing their part. This week's portion invites three specific clans of the Levites to lift their heads and to be counted. Their responsibilities were different than the other Israelites. The others were counted to serve in the military. This group was was counted upon to attend to the Mishkan, the desert tabernacle. This group had a very different role to play. While the text certainly focuses on the collection of people counted, the verb used to count, naso, suggests that each one lifts their head to be counted individually. Rabbi Jonathan Sachs teaches that, quote, at the moment when one might be maximally tempted to see the people as, quote, just numbers, namely when taking a census, as here, the Israelites were commanded to lift people's heads, to raise spirits, to make them feel they counted as individuals, not numbers in a mass, ciphers in a crowd. This afternoon, 400 or so hardworking teenagers will graduate from Council Rock North and my son will be among them. Seven of them were my confirmation students two years ago. Each one will be called to receive their diploma individually and will walk proudly across the stage to receive it. My hope and prayer is that each will take all that they've learned in their Council Rock schools, at Shirami, and other areas of their lives and apply it to whatever comes next. I trust that each will make their mark somewhere and somehow, and I hope they do so with caring and menschlichkeit. I can't wait to see my son lift his head proudly as he receives his diploma. I can't wait to see how he and his classmates carry themselves in the months and years ahead. So mazel tov to the class of 2022 and Shabbat Shalom.